Hey guys, welcome to a, I guess, Christmas time themed episode of James Games Corner. Once again, I am James. And I am Julian. And this week we're going to be running down our most anticipated games of next year. Um, main thing I looked at the games next year, there's a lot of stuff still not confirmed for next year. So the list is a little bit smaller than some of the other videos that are going to come out later. Um, but the first one, I'll, I'll let you take it because I know you're probably more excited for it than me. So, Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. <laughs> I am so ready. I've, it's been 13 years in the making, I want to say. Yeah, it's almost been 13 years. Uh, Sora, Donald, and Goofy are finally going to fight uh, Zimnus, Xehanort, and basically finish off this trilogy that's been God knows how long since 2001. So I'm pretty excited. I'm, I'm hoping this is a good wrap-up of the entire convoluted story that is Kingdom Hearts. So we'll see how it goes. I do... There's something you mentioned, you brought up a lot of wrapping up. Oh, I think this is just a new beginning. Well, the thing <laughs> is, is what, what uh, Square Enix came out and said was, this is going to be an ending of this trilogy. Yeah. And that means, I believe, Sora, Riku, and Kairi are going to be doing some more adventures. It's just with Zimnus, Xehanort, the whole Organization 13 thing. I think it's just going to be wrapped up in this part, but then there's going to be some more stuff coming out in the future. I've uh, played about an hour or two of the first Kingdom Hearts. Really? And that is it. <laughs> Man. Well, I also played it like, way later. Um, and that game, it felt weird to go back and play. Like, because, like, again, it was like way after. Years ago. Yeah. Um, and I was like, man, I got stuck in like Alice in Wonderland. And I don't know what. Maybe it was Tarzan. It was early on in the game, though. It must have been Tarzan, because usually everybody gets stuck in trying to find the, page, na- the notebook pages and. Tarzan. That sounds about right. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm glad for the people who enjoy the series because I want you to enjoy things, but Kingdom Hearts is never my thing. Um, I know it's a lot of people's thing. I must say, arguably, my most replayed gaming franchise, I've prob- my brothers and I probably clocked in about almost four or 500 hours in this game, on this series. So. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, another game on this list is going to be uh, the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. That's going to be coming uh-huh. out. It's a remaster it's of the remaster. original three games, which is kind of a weird thing to put on here. I was like, I don't really want to put a remaster on here, but as of right now, again, 2019, not a lot on there. <laughs> uh, Phoenix Wright games, if you haven't played them before, we actually talked about them a long time ago when this trilogy got announced. Uh, you play as a lawyer, Phoenix Wright, and you have to kind of solve these crimes and mysteries, and actually, like, you have to pay attention to what the characters are saying. It's a f- Franchise I've always loved for a really long time, and I'm really glad they're bringing them so people who haven't played them before can actually <clears throat> can actually get a chance to play them. Ooh, um, yeah, it also has fantastic music. Uh, it's one of my like one of my favorite songs is one of the actual, like the like when you cap when you catch someone a lie like how hype it gets. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's it's so much fun. Uh, not too much to say about that one though. Just it's it's a good franchise that's coming back. So. I'd say I'm excited for that. I am. Um, the next one, I'll, it's DMC5. Yeah, Devil May Cry 5. Um, another series that I've been playing. Well, I haven't played... Let me backtrack. I didn't get into DMC until Devil May Cry 3. Um, ever since then, I had to play back all of them and like, basically learn the ropes and everything like that. And so this is another game where I was like... Okay, Dante and Nero, I want to see what they can do. And we're going back to the original Dante, Dante. not the Dante. Yeah, uh, not that Devil May Cry crap that came out in 2013, Devil May Cry, 2014, yeah. whatever that was. Um, I will say the only good thing that they, that game did was it was pretty much a test for all the mechanics they're putting in this new one. Yep. Uh, yeah, Devil May Cry is a really good series, and it's like... It's the epitome of, like, edgelord teenager stuff. But, man, it's good. It knows what it's doing. <laughs> and that's why I was like, out of all of the hack and slash games that we have made, I mean, that we have seen and we've played, I would say Devil May Cry is probably the most consistent one. Mm-hmm. And I have to be thankful because the company that made the original Devil May, Devil May Cry games went on to make Bayonetta. Bayonetta. And that's one of my yeah. favorite franchises. So, I love, love me some Devil May Cry. Um, <clears throat> a little small indie game that's going to be on our list is also Indivisible. Which might come out next year. <laughs> I mean, it's been Kickstarter for what three? Yeah, it's years? like three years. It's it's been should shoot. It's been uh, in the works for a while. Um, it's a fun little RPG. Maybe the guys who did the uh, fighting game Fight. Skullgirls, um, where you play as a character. I can't remember the character's name, but you're pretty much building an RPG party based off of your past reincarnated lives. 
Um, it looks really fun. Nice little side-scrolling adventure that similar like kind of Paper Mario. If you once you strike an enemy or they strike you, it immediately goes into like an RPG type mode. It's kind of similar to Final Fantasy where you have like the gauges that build up until it's your turn to attack. Um, definitely something to keep out an eye out for. It's I good. just I just hope that another indie game doesn't go up and smoke like Mighty Number no. Nine. I think we're past that hopefully because that's like a that was a major company trying to make a game on like a indie budget where this is like a small company making another small game. Very true. Very um, true. And I think we have one more game I listed on the list. Not Anthem. Not Anthem. I wrote down specifically <laughs> not Anthem for this game. I, I, I'm, I'm going to put it this way. Uh, it's not my most anticipated game. It's my most watched. Yeah, like game. I'm watching I'm, 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 I'm watching how it goes out. Because the thing is, it's like my brothers and I, we're trying to make another MMO game almost like where we can all play together because our first game was Destiny, Destiny 2. Now we're going through Warframe and Overwatch. And now what we're trying to see is if Anthem is going to be that game. But my little brother, who's a huge gaming guy, gaming guy, he's like, EA has put a sour taste in his mouth for so long, he doesn't know if he's going to buy this. So he's going to be watching it. I'm watching it because, like, I'm with him. Like, how you how you fuck up Battlefront 2? Like, how do you fuck up <laughs> Battlefront 2? You have Star Wars, like, one of the top franchises that anyone will play and enjoy. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Uh, Anthem, I... I I have hopes it'll be a good game, um, but I really, like, the more I see, I'm like, this reminds me a lot, I mean, I know a lot of people like Destiny, but I also know a lot of people who play Destiny were like, yeah, it's not a lot do- into it, but I keep playing it, which is good, and I'm thinking this might be the same thing, or I'm worried it might be like a No Man's Sky, where Ooh. there's, at least that, Jeez. that just failed altogether, because that had nothing to do, but... I will say this, though, playing both Destiny and Destiny 2 all together with years of it together... I will say this, they, they, the problem is, is like they keep new content, but the thing is, it's like it's an unfinished game the first year, and then it's like you get the complete game the next year. I'm thinking and Anthem's going to be the same I think Anthem's going to be that exact same issue. And that's Thank why I'm like, money. I want to watch it first before I buy it, because I want to see if it's going to be exactly what Destiny and Destiny 2 was. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Um... I jokingly say not Anthem, but I'm like the same as you. I'm watching it closely to see is this their good game? Is Bioware and EA finally getting their crap together? Let's probably go. not. <laughs> All one can hope. But uh, feel free to comment down below um, what your most anticipated games are. Of confirmed games of 2019. Yeah, because that's what I did. I found all confirmed <laughs> games. <laughs> no, uh, don't forget to hit the bell to turn on your notifications. Like, share, subscribe, you know, the basic YouTube stuff that everyone tells you to do. Um, don't forget to like us on Facebook and Twitter as well. We're definitely on there. Uh, should have links below in the description. Anything else from you, Julian? That's pretty much it. Happy holidays, guys. Yeah. Um, continue playing, and we'll see you guys next year. Yeah.